Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you some of the new things that are available in one of my favorite tools of all time, Brush Ninja. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Brush Ninja is a tool that I've talked about many times in the past for creating animated GIFs or GIFs. And you can see I already have one here. I'm going to clear this out and let's create a new one. And we're going to create it on a square canvas. And let's go ahead and say that I'm going to make a little animation of this spinning of a spinning fan. So I'm going to have this fan here. And I'm going to make this. Obviously, I'm not the world's best artist. This is my fan for the sake of this demo. And now I want to just go ahead and duplicate that. And I want to show that it's spinning. And to do that, I'm going to add in these arrows to indicate that it's spinning. And you can see there that each time I do this, I'm just duplicating the previous frame and adding to it. And so now let's go ahead and play that. Oh, and look at that. We now have our little animated chip. Now there's much more that you can do with this. You can hit this background button and you can find images online. You can even use your own webcam to take a picture to use as your background. You can do a solid background color. Maybe I'm going to do a nice kind of light blue here as my background color. Let's use that one. Close that out. Or maybe I want to use something else like a graph paper. I could do that. Let's select a different color here. Let's move this over here. There we go. Maybe I'll use orange. Let's use orange. Let's pick that color. And now I have orange as my background. Now, when I'm done with that, I can, of course, go ahead and save it. And I'm just going to call it animation of fan. Save that file. And I now have that file that I can work on. I can also just hit the export button here and export it as an animated GIF. And we'll download that just like that. Now, I've written about using Brush Ninja many times in the past. And in the video description, I have a link to some of that. Now, some other things we can do with Brush Ninja, and these are all relatively new options here. One of them is to create some emoji art. Let's go ahead and look at that. So we have this emoji art palette right here, and let's start out by changing the color scheme. See, I just hit color, and now it changed that color scheme for me. Now, let's pick some emojis. And we'll use those here to create our little artwork. And I'm going to do this. And let's mix it up. Oh, let's put in that little person there. Or whatever that thing, that purple thing is. We can use some of this other stuff, like these directions arrows, or maybe these flags. I'm going to put the pirate flag here and put those pirate flags in there. And again, when I'm done with this, I can go ahead and keep adding, or I can share it, I can download the image, I can share it on Twitter, I can even just copy it to my clipboard. Let's go ahead and download that image, and we'll save it right there as a PNG file on my desktop. Now let's look at these last two options here, which are quite similar, but there are some differences. First of all, let's look at the photo collage option. I already have that open right here. And we have a bunch of different photo collage styles that we can pick from. We can do these side by sides. We can do these. I'm going to use this one here. Use this as my photo collage. I'm just going to pick an image that I want to use. I'm going to use this one here and this one right here that I have on my desktop. Let's see if I can find the one I want to use. Let's use that one. And now I have that little collage. Now let's pick the color. I want a nice 
black background. I can adjust the size of it. Put it back that way. Click it again. Click again. And we're back to the original. And then when I'm happy with it, just go ahead and download that photo collage. Now the last option here is creating comics. And let's open that up. And the comic creator works a lot like the photo collage creator. You'll just pick some images. I'm going to use this one again. Let's pick another one. I'm going to use this one. I'll use another one here. And I'll continue to just fill this in. And let's do some more. And we're just going to fill all of these in by picking the images that we want to use. Now, you could use real images, or of course, you could also use drawings that you might have. And we'll add this one in. Let's add some more. I'll use this one. All right, let's use that one. And let's add one more to the end. Now, you'll see that it prefers that I use portrait oriented pictures, but I'm just going to show you that you can use one that's not portrait oriented. It's just going to crop it for you. And then you can go ahead and download it. And what's neat when you download it, I'll open it here on my screen, is that it has lines for folding. So you can cut this out and fold it like a brochure or a little comic book. So you can see here when I have my downloaded version opened, we have these lines for folding and cutting as needed to create our little foldable comic book. And you'll notice if you go down here that there are step-by-step -step directions for how to fold it. So that's an overview of the neat tools that Brush Ninja offers. And I should point out Brush Ninja is a great site because it's free, easy to use, and doesn't require your students to have any registration. If you want to support this site, they do have a little store where you can buy some cool things like a film strip t-shirt, which is the one that I think I'm going to get. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.